We will now demonstrate how to carry out a check for continuity on cables and how to check to see if a fuse is OK. First we need to move the selector switch to resistance mode. Make sure that the black probe is connected into the common and the red probe is connected into the ohms. What we're then going to do is touch the red and the black leads together and as you can see we have a resistance of 0.2 to 0.1 of an ohm. This value is the actual resistance of the test leads and this value needs to be removed from the actual resistance when we do the checking. We will now demonstrate how to check continuity of the cables to make sure it's okay. On the connector strip you can see we have marked one end number one all the way through to number ten and then at the other side mark number one all the way through to number ten. What we're going to do is place the red probe onto one side of the connectors on number one and place the black probe on the other one. Now you can see we have a resistance of 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 which is very good continuity. Now we're going to do a check to make sure we don't have continuity. So if you put the black probe onto number one and at the other side put it onto number two, you can see we have no continuity of those cables. So that means the two cables are not actually connected. What we're going to do is check all 10 connections to show you that they're all connected together. So one to one, good, two to two, three to three, and we will continue doing this for all 10 connections. Now there is a quicker way to do this. Most multimeters will have a buzzer function. So by pressing the button to put it into buzzer mode, as you can see, touching the two probes together, you can hear a continuous beep. Remove the probes, the beep goes away. This allows you to do a quick check, not without having to look at the meter, just listen. Okay, next we're going to use the buzzer mode to check the continuity of a fuse. As you can see, the fuse is healthy, we have the continuous buzzing noise, and you can see on the scale that you had a resistance. Always check the resistance when you're doing a fuse check, because a high resistance will also give you the beeping noise. Okay, so what happens if we have a fuse that's not healthy? There you can see we are using the buzzer, there's no buzzing noise, there's nothing shown on the display, that fuse is not good and must be disposed of. In conclusion, we have demonstrated how to check continuity of the test leads, how to carry out a continuity test on cables and fuses, how to use the buzzer function to do quick checking of continuity. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you when we do the next series of videos. Kalas.